Hi everyone. In this video, I'm just going to explain that how to set the custom validity uh, using JavaScript to validation of this input field, such as like this I mean, name field or any phone number or enter your email. I'm just going to ex I mean show the example for this. Usually, if you are using I mean in the modern browsers, I mean we'll have the HTML five tags elements. So by default, you will get that. Um, you will get the validation by uh, I mean if the field is required like this yeah I just going to uh, I mean I just explained you step by step of this code here now here this is the CSS style I mean to design this uh, uh, page my page so you just leave this block here here it starts from our part here there's a form name is my form this is our form that I am created you enter your name it's an input I mean it will be displayed in this uh, web page here then then input type is text I'm going to input the text and and that I am setting the name for this because I will use this here in JavaScript for document object model so just I'm using this I mean I'm giving this name here the placeholder is enter your name you can see and uh, placeholder is nothing but it will be like just I mean shadow of this I mean it will be displayed in the input field I just show you in this I um, mean preview here you can see this see this input field that I mean the shadow it will be displayed like enter your name so I just given this placeholder in this I'm going to uh, use this I'm going to call this uh, form in uh, JavaScript so I'm just giving this on input name is update message this so this also I have given this record field I just ignore this JavaScript you can understand this first here I'm just reviewing this JavaScript if you're and just submitting this this is a mandatory field because I have gear given here required so this is by default HTML tag you can verify uh, verify the input field without using the JavaScript here, I um, mean, without JavaScript, you can validate with the help of this record field. So I am just giving submit. Just see, please fill out this one. This is basic. I mean, default. I mean, uh, error message. I mean, uh, display message you can get from HTML5. This is if you are giving. If you are not giving anything here, just save this and refresh this, and you will not get any error message. See, this mandatory block has been gone here. So what I am going to do is now. Uh, just I am going to edit this in I mean I am just going to mention this as required so if I am saving this you can say see this is a mandatory if you, if you submit this please fill out this one I am just going more efficiently something custom field like such as please enter your name yes then only you'll, your name will be added like that I am going to give how will you give that one for that you can use JavaScript here. See, it's a very simple JavaScript here. Okay, the next line I have given enter your phone number and enter your email. This is not I am going to uh, explain anything about because we are not going to use as part of this video. So I am just coming to this part in JavaScript. How I am using first of all the document the dot. I'm I'm just calling this. I mean, I'm just setting this custom validity. Where I am setting this custom validity is, this is a document. So dot my form. I'm calling this my form. Uh, dot in that form in which field you are calling this field you are calling. So I am just calling this name, my name. For this input field, I am just setting the custom validity. So dot set custom validity. Here I am just. Uh, given this um, and display message here to join our list please enter your name here this will be populated if I'm giving submit here so just I'm just creating the I mean writing the function here now function the update message this name you have given here in this on input while inputting you are just going to display this it's referring this input just you need to mention this input field because have, as we are calling writing this for input field so this is the variable which you take from this for update message this variable will be passed here so here I'm just sim writing simple condition simple if statement here if my input dot value is equal to double equal to means it's equal to it's within double quotes it's an blank I mean just I'm leaving the blank space here so if the value is null input dot set 
custom validity this message will be transferred here because in this variable you are setting this this message so it will be display here hope I think you will be uh, understanding you people will be understanding this one this is very simple thing uh, just I'm going to verify this now I'm just saving this uh, I'm just going to refresh this page see I um, mean in this in your record field I am not go I'm not going to give anything here I'm just creating I mean uh, directly I'm going to submit this button see to join our list please enter your name here this custom message we have gi given for display that has been displayed here as this is required field it's showing as required if I'm deleting this and if I'm removing this one this will will be disabled yeah this is the JavaScript using we are validating our field so next also we, if you are removing this required field I'm just removing, deleting this record field. I mean, sorry, required um, element in this HTML tag. Uh, I'm just saving this. Even if you're going this, it it may not be showing that is a mandatory field. But we have added our JavaScript for validation, so definitely it will be asking. I mean, it will be a required field. I'm just refreshing this, saving it, and refreshing it. See nothing I mean uh, the mandatory sign has been not I mean not shown here so I'm just going to submit this even though you will be getting this I mean pop-up message for input validation this will be very helpful if you want to write uh, some HTML codes and JavaScript codes to validate your input fields that's it uh, hope it will be helpful thank you so much for watching my video please subscribe my channel www.youtube.com thank you bye